going back and forth saying good luck see you in Thailand. Obviously, we've been mentioning that many, many times. Uh, these two teams are going to be the teams representing our region here from North America, Europe, in the uh, Thailand event. Definitely favorites, to say the least, but, hey, yeah, that's going to be a fun event. It's going to be a lot of fun to see how that ultimately plays out, of course, starting next week. So, anyways, this matchup here, locking phase just about finished up. Let me scroll up a little bit here and get the blind band. So, Keeper of the Forest Ophelia from TDM. Moon Queen Artillery, I believe that's the exact same bands we had last game by the same team. So a still a stay green going with that artillery over the Wild Soul band right. or, lock, or blind band here. Yeah, man, really just making a point. They do not want to have to deal against that artillery, man. And, and we see them. They're putting the Wild Soul back into the pool again. But I don't know, actually know if they have any intent of taking it. It's yeah. uh, more to populate that lock pool. Uh, it's a pretty strong. Uh, and they are capable of playing it, I'm sure. I just I, I never really see them. Uh, running sort of a more late game focus right here that has no early to mid game presence like a wild soul. Gemini, the final lock. <laughs> not uh, not a hero we expect to see well even played, let alone locked up. But usually consider, of course, more the trollish lock. Uh, but yeah, locked up here by Stake Green to finish things off. So pretty much saying uh, we want to leave our options open, uh, right. especially for later on. We don't want to sense ban a hero here that we may not get to play. So. Um, into For the sure. actual painting phase we go. Fade, Tundra, and Master of Arms so far coming out here. Remember last game too, we saw the uh, we saw both Demented Shaman and Zephyr locked up in that locked pool. Of course, none of the, neither right. one of them eventually got picked up. But you know, so in a sense, they were kind of banned last game. But this game, I'm kind of sure. curious now if they're not actually banned. Which so far, okay, there's the Demented Shaman. So we'll see if we go with the Zephyr ban here, but. Well, Ophelia is off the board as well, as well as Master of Arms. His effort not having True. as much turnaround potential as you might think. Uh, Jeraziah still on the board. It's been a while since I've sort of seen him rear his head. The last time, I believe, was with Afraid yeah. Gaming. They were playing against... Uh, who were they playing against? But they actually winded up uh, taking Jeraziah, Master of Arms, and Ophelia as sort of <laughs> a counter to the Tempest Keeper lineups, uh, figuring they didn't have enough burst damage in their team. Uh, picking those two two uh, strong initiators yeah. and able to get the turnaround gigs a lot. But yeah, mm -hmm. Jerezaya is still on the board. Deadwood picked up True. here first. Rally is still available, but there is no pebble, so they are going to be lacking one of the uh, the more bursty initiators here. Yeah, kind of interesting there. Stay Green was the one to ban the pebbles, and I'm kind of curious about that because if you leave pebbles open there and instead ban something else like a Magmus, say, or just you know another hero in general, TDM they, what, they first picked pebbles, they first picked Deadwood. You then could have responded with both the rally and then the one that they didn't pick. So well, or what if they picked rally first, and then you go pebbles deadwood? That's yeah, still that's a strong combination. Still, still very but strong might, combo. Might not be what they're going for. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So maybe just thinking along those lines. Uh, well, rally yes. and torture though going to be the first pickups here for state green. So sure. Already very similar to last game. <laughs> Looks more <laughs> like a uh, tort carry style of game so far, but we'll have to yeah. see. There are a lot of supports available here. Luna, Glacius, Nymphora being the prime three that I'm taking a look at here. And oh, yeah. Nymphora, State Green loves to run especially, so. Yeah. Definitely wouldn't be surprised to see that Nymphora pick coming yeah, out. They're, they're not really rocking uh, something like a Deadwood or Pebbles to warp around and get easy pickoffs with. Nymphora sure. Mag is very powerful, but they can't get that combination anymore. Nymphora Rally is okay, but well, not to say you can't gank with other heroes. It's a little bit easier to set up when you have that primary burst. They do got Parasite in the lock pool, so. Maybe along those lines. Uh, they well, they're not even going to get the monkey. option. Trademark Esports is going to go the Nymphora and then Monkey King. We, this is a hero that <laughs> we've been seeing more and more across some many teams, in, including Trademark Esports. They've definitely been playing. I know Zai and Noob G both mm -hmm. play it very, very well. I think even Limp as well. So definitely many players that can play it. Um, but, yeah, going the physical route here is Trademark Esports. Right. Witch Slayer yes. going to be the final pick. When I, was the know, last time we saw Witch Slayer, man? Awesome. I mean, he... Oh, and Slicks is going to, told me Slicks is going to play. Oh, he used to play it all the time yeah, when we were back and free together. There, yeah. We ran the solo witch. We actually ran it in the suicide lane and then would dual roam and he'd get the ganks and set it up. But yeah, going that Steam Boots portal huh. key route, able to lock down that Monkey King very effectively. And I said they didn't really have a strong burst initiator, but that all there changes with the Witch Slayer. Yeah. There you and go. Damn, so they don't have me. the Nymphora by any means to port around. But yeah, going the Witch Slayer route. So, okay. It, He's not playing it. It's going to be Swindle Mall that's uh, playing that. Well, is it? Still, I mean. Yeah, I know. So as, as long as it's not in Z-Freak's hands. As long as it's not in Z-Freak's hands, I think. We, we know we don't like to see that support witch slayer. Yeah. That is. Uh, there you okay, go. Okay, okay. So Swindle Melons is playing it. I, I know Slicks' witch slayer is very well spoken for, and yeah. I know Swindle Melons rally is very well spoken for. Switching it up in a game like this, I'm sort of curious about, but uh, yeah, I'm sure they're comfortable. 
great at locking down Monkey King. And I was going to make count of Monkey King, too. He sort of fills that role that uh, people look to Hammerstorm for, where it's like a very powerful in the early game, able to roam around and set up those kills, yeah. but scales into the late game very effectively. And I think, uh, actually, Monkey King is a little bit harder to counter than, say, a Hammerstorm, who is pretty one-dimensional. Monkey King has a lot more mobility, and I kind of like how he fits into that slot a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, by the way, real quickly, I, I do know that we are having, you know, again, it's it's watchable by all means, it sounds like, but we are, we are having a little bit of video issues. Uh, but we are, we are planning to get that figured out and uh, fixed before the next series at the very least. So do apologize for that for now, but uh, should it hopefully be good to go at least for the next series. But hopefully at the very least, again, you're enjoying this matchup here. Holy crap, what the hell is this thing? Parasite. <laughs> it's... I, I guess that that really fits Parasite. I mean, <laughs> that looks like Frankie, an ugly. That, that is the. Uh, that's a new Parasite. The face hugger skin. Parasite, is it not? It's the face hugger. Interesting. There okay. he is, and wow, that looks. Absolutely yeah, I think insane. he just came out even yesterday. Oh, so. you know what? It's so cute. It's just like a I, got, I gotta say, I don't approve of his choice of skin there. Oh, the witch there. I like the default the avatar or the the hope, the new the female, female witch one, yeah. That one is freaking hot, but yeah, not <laughs> rolling with it today. Freaking hot. Yeah. Oh, you. Uh, no, yeah, I'm actually very curious to see how this uh, Parasite skin works, though, as far as the uh, face the up animations and, and such. Yeah, I haven't Always actually fun. seen it live yet. It is a yeah. new release, and kind of curious. We've obviously been on the road here, so. Yeah. Yeah, Chessie rocking it out this game. And he just, uh, for those who you haven't seen it, if you look on the competitive section on the forums, and maybe it's on Chessie's bots, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. Uh, you can find it there. But he actually released a Parasite guide recently. Uh, Chessie, known for releasing really in-depth uh, calculated guides, known as one of the better junglers yeah. in Heroes of New York, if not the best. And it's definitely worth checking out if you're learning how to play the hero on a more advanced level. One of the better junglers, if not the best, you can argue. And then also, really just one of the nicest guys in Heroes Yeah, he's Earth, man. a very good character. I've noticed, like, when all the other players are getting to tips with each other, talking shit or whatever, he's just, I, like, <laughs> I just like to play the game, man. Yeah. I just like to meet people, hang out. And he clearly likes to help, it, help the community. I mean, yeah, as he so. said, he had that great Ophelia guide in the past, and... Here we go with the Parasite Guide. So definitely a guide you should check out. I don't have the exact link by any means, but I'm sure you can find it on the forums. Competitive section, if you scroll down yeah. just a little bit, or Control F, uh, Chessy, you'll see it right there. I also love this, too. This is something that we're seeing more and more. It's Chessy especially. I think he was kind of the first one to start doing it. Go on the first item, Blood Chalice. He goes the, uh, the, the, you know, the two early items, and then he picks up the Scarab once he hits that 325 gold. And then he has, uh, and then he has a Blood Chalice, just like that right off the bat. So... Uh, very in interesting uh, idea, but hey, it works out very well, especially for a hero like Parasite, of course. So, right, gives him everything he needs friends. to sustain himself in the jungle. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, taking a look here, we got. Okay, so Slicks is playing Rally, but it mm -hmm. is more in that dual lane role, which makes a lot more sense as to why he's the one performing and why Swindlemelt, uh, more typically, uh, the initiator solo is playing that role. So this comes down to hero slotting. He's playing primary initiator. Uh, Slicks is playing more of that. Uh, secondary initiator slash pseudo Whoa. carry role. Keizu's obviously playing the primary. And we talked about SG. Normally they don't pick Wild Soul. They obviously are prepared for it if they need to and in a game like this. Yeah. Uh, being exposed to it being the ideal pick. They did draft it and I'm curious to watch Keizu here and how he performs. It's been a long time. Yeah, well, they're going to be relying on Keizu ultimately for that late game presence if it happens to get there. Of course, you're not a team that's known for getting to that point ever, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, they, they usually like to take care of business early into that mid-game stage, as we saw last game once again. But um, it's, uh, you know, Keizu, no doubt, going to be the, because you got a Witch Slayer in that farming role. As you mentioned, Slicks on the rally. I mean, sure, he can be a great initiate and everything, but he's not a hero. You're necessarily relying with a carry presence. So um, definitely well, it's all that focus there. But, ooh, bottom lane limps in a little bit of trouble. The Entangle's coming out right there. Ryan Grass going to be used. Will we see another Entangle perhaps coming out? The auto attacks. Will it be never the bloodless kill? Chasing still limp. One more. Let's go. One more. One more. One, one more. more. In the oh, he's in it to the trees, and he might barely survive. It looks no, like he no. We cannot chase. Holy crap! What a getaway for Limp. That is the power though of your suicide wild soul, man. The the Entangle Brox. Holy crap! Nearly the bloodless kill. Yeah, if you had that bear chase a little bit further there for a split second, able to sneak that last auto tick in through the trees, uh, Deadwood would have been dropped. And we talked about relying on KZ to get through this early game and yeah. carry it home for State Green off to a fantastic start. It only would have oh, been amplified. Oh, big compel in the meantime in the middle lane. Parasite coming in as well. Nymph 4, Zealstone not even going to hit it, looks like. He eventually falls. Monkey King bouncing around toward to a Tempest is here. So it will end up being a one-for-one -one exchange. It looks like uh, Parasite did have a Wild Hunter to come in there. Uh, Bloodless kill, though, in, in the end goes to stay green, but at least TDM gets a response out of it right there. Yeah, both junglers being active in the mid lane when I see these uh, dual lane versus dual lane mid matchups. You know what I always say, Breaky? Yeah. Comes down to the aggressive jungler from the other side to make the difference. You yep. set the momentum 
uh, on your side's favor, and it'll just roll from there. They become self-sufficiently powerful uh, to just dominate yep. from that point on outward. And really, it doesn't get much better than a parasite, especially with a wild hunter. So, uh, my nuts there taking, or not? Excuse me, Chessie there taking the most advantage. Yeah, but they didn't get the counter kill, so it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, exactly. And well, support for support in the end. Yep. So no huge, huge drops just yet. Uh, Deadwood was forced to go heal. He had to walk back to base and actually TP in from there. Yeah. Uh, taking a look, let's take a compare the creep farm here on the bottom lane. Wild Soul is controlling it as we often see 17 and 1 now to Wild uh, Deadwood's 11 and 1. And uh, not only that, oh, have the experience. Here we go again. Of course, what do Wild Hunters mean? There's always two of them. In the meantime, the Monkey King, a great response. A perfect seal set on top of that. Monkey King bouncing around, but not going to be enough in the end. In fact, he may get turned on down. Chain reactions hitting. Going to go into the jungle, though, a little bit. It will be enough to survive. And they just do not want to risk it right there. So in the end, nobody ends up dying. But uh, very, very close for both sides, actually, losing a hero. Yeah, speaking of wild hunters, let's take a look. Okay, there, there are no more left on the map. He said when there's one wild hunter, there's always another. you got to be ready for that second gank. He's just going back to farming now. Going to hit the level 6 probably before trying to do anything else. Chose to level up the infest here, figuring he can set up the ganks uh, without the higher level of leech. And wants to keep up in that experience so he doesn't taper yeah. off by being too active relative to this Tempest. Yeah. So in the end, again, nobody dying. So we're still sitting on that one-to-one -one hero kill game. But again, Parasite <laughs> looking to continue to be active. At the same time, though, it's uh, always dangerous to get in really tight corners like this, especially against an M4, as we saw there. I mean, it lines up an easy zeal stun and nearly set up a, even a turnaround there in favor of uh, right. in favor of trademark eSports. So. so I want to take a look at this Bubbles versus Witch Slayer yeah. matchup and see how each of them are creep killing. Witch Slayer is handily Dominating. controlling the lane right now. 22 to 7. Going to have his ultimate soon. At that point, Bubbles is vulnerable yeah. to uh, just instant combo. Look at his max life pool, man. A uh, quick not, hack. Not he high. actually chose to level up the power drain in this matchup, which did recently receive a buff. Interesting. It Wow. So that's level 2 power drain. Yeah. So when it, in order to dominate this side lane, you know, I can kind of see it when he's playing more of this uh, first initiator role in that solo side. Winning his matchup is more important. Holding the bubbles down. He's going to force bubbles to roam here. Uh, heading towards the middle lane. Torture, uh, he's trying to wait for the rune. They've got the response, though. Yeah, Bubbles, as you mentioned, is here using that mana potion. But that is interesting, man. So clearly having some uh, some idea in mind with this Witch Slayer pickup amongst just being a solid initiator and solo ganker even, but taking advantage of that buff. And what was exactly the buff? It was the range, right? Uh, the range on the mana drain that you can, before it leech, leashes off, I right, believe. Right, so. and I, there might have been another facet to it as well. I'm actually going to go ahead and take a look because I know it was pretty recent and I was taking a look and I'm like that's cool yeah it might actually bring some use back to the ability which was it is fairly powerful it's just hard to justify pick uh skipping over that uh that hex sometimes but witch slayer okay the break range was also yeah. increased in top of the, the way that the range the initial cast range instead of it being 600 650 700 750 tapering up to 700 okay. all levels uh yeah easier to get it off and use it more effectively in the laning phase here interesting but you mentioned he's going to be level 16, in fact, is level 6, and that's where Bubbles is like, okay, I'm not even going to be anywhere near you because a graveyard, a silver bullet combination, and he's 100% dead as you're talking about. Wild Hunter again by Jesse here. Monkey King might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, Parasite is also level 6. He's got this the face could be hug. a kill. They're going to be patient enough. The Zeal Stun is ready to be lined up. There's the Lich. There's the face hug. He got one da elusive dash. A beautiful Zeal Stun coming out from Fitzke. And Monkey King will survive. Very well played. Look at this now. One gym slam used. Monkey King wants oh. revenge. Tempest nearby, but the Hellborn team in State Green, they're quick enough to react as well. So again, big time setups here. No kills happening though. Yeah, they decided it wasn't worth the Heavenly Vault to try to catch someone else off in the end. Tempest was waiting, not finding the angle there. It's uh Oh, all four of them still here yeah. in this mid lane. Zai was quick though, man. I mean he came out of the Wild Hunter, tried to get that face hug off in time, but Zai, with that elusive dash, getting it off, got two elusive dashes off and got into a safe positioning there so he didn't get caught out by the rally stun. Yeah, that or even the chain reactions from Torture. I mean, just yeah, something both. there. Very effective. Yeah, Parasite's probably screaming his head off like, where's the follow-up? But yeah, you said a beautiful oh. uh, yeah, but beautiful follow-up from Zai. Yeah, just the uh, very quick, very, very fast. Deadwood is level 7 along with Witch Slayer. None of them have really made their play yet. It's only a matter of time break. Yeah, I mean, they've got yeah. those ultimates. If they catch anyone out... They're going down. Yeah, this by no means has been a passive game at all, but we are at a one-to-one -one, uh, hero kill game now. Eight minutes in, of course. There's been a lot uh, of back and forth clashes. Exactly. Which no one's quite dropped. Both teams uh, sort of doing a good job of their positioning and footsies. 
<laughs> Noob G here again. He doesn't want to deal with that top lane. He's actually going to assist in some triple stack ancients. Uh, however, they don't have the most power right now. So between him and Monkey King, they're not gonna. They're gonna have to reset some things. Go to go ahead and put some regen out. Actually, Noob G, <laughs> you need to be very careful. Speaking of that, by the way, Noob G playing the bubbles. I mean, how about that? That's not a hero you usually expect to see Noob G on, but right. nonetheless, <laughs> doing it here. Oh, Zai's playing, playing that, Monkey King. Yeah, Zai, Zai is a more comfortable Monkey King player. We've seen Noob G. Well, maybe it's that Zai doesn't like bubbles as much too. Uh, we've yeah. seen Noob G play that Monkey King before. I'm trying to reckon who Zai was playing in those matchups. Maybe a wretched hag. Yeah. Yeah. More than likely. So. Yeah, switching it around. Uh. Again, that's not to say though. I mean, this Witch Slayer matchup for that bubbles, especially going that power drain build. Uh, that had to be whether it was Zai or Noob. Oh yeah, no, that, that, it wasn't about him. Yeah. Oh no! Whoa. Why you went back into? And Infora might actually die too. Oh. <laughs> Shout out Barely to gets uh, away. And, and Noob G here is going to clean it on. <laughs> He's up. like, I'll take it, I guess. He's like, you know what? I'm the carry player. <laughs> uh, sit down, Zai. Oops. No. <laughs> yeah, that was, he had his elusive dash up in a sec. He was going to get it. The Ancients retarget. I was worried that they might do that because yeah. it didn't look like he uh, leashed him back far enough. They sort of reset and re-aggroed him there. And that, that, was, that was rough. Hopefully you don't lose points for having your player die to neutral creeps. Because Zai is definitely on my fantasy roster, so that, that's that's the only thing I'm worrying about right now. True, true. <laughs> uh, okay, so looking further, we got Monkey King. He has the early Energizer pickup. Maybe gonna set up some ganks with it. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, interesting. Sitting on the red boots, going that Energizer. Obviously has a bottle on top of that, but wants to be able to take advantage of some good aggression with that. And you know, what? with that Infora teammate, we're, we're focusing a lot of the Hellborn team. You know, possibly going Infora. Ooh, bottom tower gonna be pushed in, by the way. As Tempest, Deadwood, and N4 come in. But yeah, this Legion team, they got that Deadwood, the right. Monkey King. Great teammates to go up with that N4. So yep. uh, that's definitely going to be an advantage for them. They're going to keep this push going a little bit. The minions are still here. The Elementals, uh, not replicated, unfortunately, but still plenty of damage coming out. I don't know if State Green's going to defend this. I mean, okay, they do have one four coming in up to you. It is a rally always in Viz as well. This could work beautifully for State Green, actually, depending on how. Uh, okay, trademark esports, they're going to say something's not right. They're going to start falling back here. But are they? Are they? Ooh. They might just be positioning back by the wave, keeping a scout on it. No one really responding. What about, what about the ports here? No one has ports in mids. The Wild Soul and Torture. And Witch Slayer does. Witch Slayer does, but that's yeah. one. They might be able to get a quick pick off, but you know, they are notorious for their safe plays. I think he's this Legion experience here. Going to wait until he, it's completely cleared out, and then when he knows he can get onto the lane, yeah. get some free farm in, I think he's going to reveal himself. Well, you see what Witch Slayer porting back to base. He just got his portal key, man. I mean, look at this farm on Witch Slayer. Uh -oh. 350 gold per minute here. He is level 9. He's got the portal key on top of the steam boots. He is a very, very good start here mm -hmm. for his so, team. So. Witch Slayer, he's got that, that massive amount of stable. That miniaturization is huge. Into the later phases of the game and able to pick off here when he gets the shrunken head a little bit later on after this yeah. portal key uh, going to do a lot of work with it but uh one of the things he's sort of weak at compared to pebbles is it's a lot easier to counter initiate and kill a witch slayer than it is a pebbles a lot less tanky than that stone goliath yeah well it's all in the meantime just going to go ahead and go with those ancients here kazu speaking of that the 2400 gold saved up so mock brilliance going to be of course uh worked on for him and Coming along pretty nicely here. Catman champion push from Chessy coming out, but eventually he's going to fall back before he gets jumped out of position. So still remaining on that one-to-one -one game. Again, It's uh, it, I don't think that score necessarily reflects this is the, the pace of the game that we've had. It's just been good support by the teammates and ultimately people staying alive uh -oh. in these game contents. But, yeah, look at Witchlayer up here. Bubbles, he, knows he left this earlier. Look at him, though. Yeah, he's he has with steam boot strength. He's just poking in and out with the trees, and he eventually is going to fall back. So Right. Which they're not able to get the opportunity just yet. Still, here. he's doing something by being there. Bubbles knows True. it, but he's keeping him off the wave. Controlling the creep wave here, going to pull it back where he can and uh, slowing down Bubbles' growth. So even if you don't get a kill, it goes to show you it's still worth trying sometimes or showing yeah. your cards and uh, controlling the map that way. Yeah, you're looking at 760 magic damage burst between the level 1 silver bullet and that level 4 graveyard stun. So 760 on top of at least one, if not two, auto attacks. Pro more than likely two, if not more three. Oh, no, no, you can definitely, so. yeah, combined with the level 2 miniaturization, he'll be, uh, yeah, getting three to four there. Bubbles doesn't have take cover, so you got to keep that in mind as well. Oh, yeah. 
Middle lane, uh, Rally and Torture just kind of falling back here as Monkey King and four again and four getting close to the level six mark. Not going the volatile pot either, by the way. Fitzky actually level three, Grace of the Nymph here. So mm. Rolly wants to keep the mana up, especially for this Monkey King. Obviously, no one yeah. has a hero that definitely uses plenty of mana. Well, he's able to farm very, very, very quickly as well with that additional mana. And if yeah. they're looking to avoid fights maybe in scale before they pick it, that could make sense as to why he's not leveling up in Infora Zeal quite yet. Very true. Uh, you know, it worries me, though, when I see that, because you're looking at an M4 on all she offers here is essentially 170 magic damage. Yeah. To the When it comes to bursting heroes down, a lot of, a lot of what this this game comes down to is those quick and effective pickoffs. Ooh, we could have a big jump right here. Swindermelon's actually portal king away right there. The shell surf was about to hit him and scout him out, so he figured he would get away before they maybe jump him. Mm -hmm. uh, so playing it safe right there, and that should easily set up this tower kill now. Yeah, right. TDM knows that there's no way they're defending, especially with the portal key used right there. So they take out the tower, and the gold lead definitely going in their favor quite a bit here. Right, Helm of the Black Legion now picked up by Zai as well. So sitting on Red Boots, Energizer, and Helm of the Black Legion. Uh, you can almost look at Energizer as sort of enhanced boots of sorts, too, because it yeah. does give you a little bit of bonus boost. It gives you the stats. Uh, and for a hero like Monkey King, who most of his damage, even his auto attack damage, he gets a couple in between the dashes. Uh, but in general, a lot of it just comes out of his oh, skill set. Oh, and for a TP with Deadwood has that portal key to the bottom lane. While also going for the port out, though, and he will be successful. The kill feel was even oh. used, but he gets out a fraction of a second before. In the meantime, in the middle lane, Monkey King elusive tashing away as Witch Slayer went for the port in, but not able to catch him right there. So very, very interesting. But uh, neither team able to pick up a kill. Stay Green will, however, go for a counter push. They know the TPs were used, obviously. Will they be able to do this effectively? We'll see. That parasite's freaking me out, man. I didn't yeah, like the face huggers from aliens. I'm, <laughs> it's I'm an ugly not. looking creature, man. I guess it does fit down. parasite pretty well, though. He got his codex, by the way. The codex on top with the ghost marchers. Monkey King using that heavily vault, jumping back in now. He so. got miniaturized right there. Yeah. He's feeling pretty frisky, man. I don't know if uh, yeah. I'd be chancing it there. Which mm -hmm. there is very deadly against him, as you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Boo Boo doing his work against the tower, of course. You see those red numbers coming out. One more auto attack, maybe. Yes, he's going to get it right there. The jump in from Rally. Monkey King going to be combo. Seismic Slime coming out. The final auto attack. And Z Freak, we get credit for the kill. In the meantime, Rotten Crash landing from Lemp. He'll get a counter kill, but at what cost right here? Devil now on the run. Parasite is chasing with Boo Boo, Rally, and Torture. The Impalement doing work. Lemp actually, or Chessie, getting credit for the kill right there. Nim 4 with the Zeal Stun. Not going to really matter too much. Temp is just a little bit too late. And Bubbles as well can't really get here. So Witch Slayer did fall. But Monkey King and Deadwood go down as the tower also goes down in favor of State Green. So no doubt a victory for them. What's the difference, though, Breaky? Uh, Witch Slayer fell, but he got his ultimate. He got his spells off. He got Monkey his, King jumped his in. Done, yeah. uh, he, he, get, he got dropped down pretty damn quickly there. And uh, w when you lay down the initiation, okay, say they respond and they take you out in the end. Take, they took down Witch Slayer, right? Yeah. He got all his spells off. Say they take you down. That All their cooldowns are being used then on a hero that already burst another guy down before they were able to cast anything. Yeah. So in a sense, it's like a free shrunken head <laughs> and also for the rest of your team there, they know they can go in really hard at that point and not really be responded on. Yeah. Which they're also getting close to the level 11 mark, I'm sure, as he picks up a Grave Locket, by the way, so helping his mana situation a little bit. But the level 11 mark, of course, very important for him. Silver Bullet goes from 500 yep. to 650 magic damage, and I believe there's also a reduction in cooldown. Yeah, 150 to 90 seconds. Oh, yeah, it's huge. Eventually 55 seconds at level 3. That's ridiculous, man, as uh, far as the Silver Bullet goes. So. At level 2, you never need to feel bad about using it for any pickoffs yeah. whatsoever. It's like it'll always be up, so... Yeah. Uh, it is a pretty critical point for Witch Slayer. On top of the fact that it just, just does so much damage, man. Uh, he has to be a little bit more careful with his mana usage when it does come time, but he does have the Grave Locket. Uh, level 2 Mana Drain, he's going to be fine. Rally just going to farm things up at the top lane, but an M4 TP coming in. Dead with level 11. Has that Falcon Punch ready to go. There's the Falcon Punch on top of the beautifully landed Rotten Grasp. Limp and make it the go, but I'm a compel coming around. Slex. Slex may actually limp through this. He will. Unbelievable See, right there. That's a getaway. That's that's why you need that higher level than 4. He's needed a little bit of extra damage there. Yeah. So the gank we said, yeah, an M4 is great, but uh, pretty much Deadwood's rolling solo there in those pickoffs. And M4 is the only being level 2. Uh, doesn't have that increased stun duration or even that higher damage and just. That's the difference between a pick off and not. I mean, I like the, the higher level grace, kind of, but I don't at all because you're just kind of uh, useless when it comes to a team fight. You can argue the positioning too right there. I mean, the double he, stun. The double stun. Th that, if you're setting up a gank like that, you should prevent from setting up. I mean, in the end, it can be difficult to do, and obviously sure. you got to give credit to Slicks right there for making a great lineup stun right there happen. But 
Yeah, the positioning, you can argue as well that, you know, TDM should have thought about that. Didn't work out in the best. Did they didn't use their lockdown the most effectively either, did they? I think they stacked the Rod and Grasp and the Zeal, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, one thing about, I, yeah, one thing about Rally that uh, a lot of people aren't really perceptive to is that Entangles uh, Roots immobilizes is what they're called. Yeah. Really, really screw him over. He cannot compel an immobilized target, including himself. Uh, so you consider those pretty much like a full stun on a hero like Rally. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the greatest counters to him there is, and the fact is, with Deadwood's ultimate there right there, the Willowmaker, 1.5 seconds of stun, three additional seconds from the Rotten Grass, and in for Zeal, they have a lot of potential lockdown coming out, just not able to seal the deal there. Witch Slayer's been doing a lot of running around, so he's still on a level 10 mark. I feel like I said a, a couple, two or three minutes ago that he's close to level 11, so... Uh, still not there just yet, but may actually set up a jump right here. The Graveyard Sonna will connect to Monkey King, but just a little bit too far. I think he was trying to line up on both right there. And in four, just a little bit too far away. So he had this ward of sight, giving them the plenty of vision that they needed, but just wasn't able to go quick enough right there with right, his team support. Minus now. We see him bury up his builds on junglers quite a bit, going for the portal key this route. Yeah. Wanting to make the big plays against potentially a little bit more passive SG team here with the Wild Soul. But Breaky, when Wild Soul got the mock of Brilliance last game, yeah. how far down was Trademark Esports? A lot more than this. A lot more than this. <laughs> Sabrina's actually not even in the down lead here. right now, and they have the mock. We see what yeah. Wild Souls are capable of. Uh, he got the portal key, but they do have sort of that that AOE presence now to counter it. So yeah. are they are they going to be able to find an answer here? Their team is pretty damn effective in the late game, but yeah. uh, Stay Green's got the game in a pretty nice position right now. Trademark does not want to be knocked out here, though. I mean, there is a lot. <laughs> Stay Green would guarantee their first play seed in the entirety of the Hantor event with this victory. Yeah, and and more importantly... Uh, Fitzky would be out of my fantasy team. That's that is what That's really will do it in. So you know what? Go stay green. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. Uh, obviously they're up one game to nothing right now. Yeah, it's not, they do not. Neither one of these teams want to play complexity in that very first round. I, gu I can guarantee that. I mean, sure. No matter what, it's going to be a tough matchup. Sure. No matter who wins that four through eleven matchup, uh, the tournament there, which of course starts next week, as we're talking about, uh, it's going to be a tough team too. But complexity. They are a scary team, especially going into the Atlanta event that neither one of these teams want to face again. So, yeah. in a sense, the losing team here will be facing them. And, again, TDM definitely in that spot now. But but we do have plenty of game left here, yeah, 20 with, and a half minutes with, in. With that Vegas event coming up, though, that is a lot of motivators for teams to really buckle down and boot camp hard. So yeah. uh, you could see some of these other teams, the, the fourth place seed going into this Vegas event, they might... Uh, be absolutely an insane form, but come time to the land event. Might have initiation right here. Rally in the front lines. Boo Boo chasing down with that Mocker Brothers. Of course, Monkey King Energizer thought about going back in, but choosing not to. Deadwood, he has his portal key ready. There's a jump in the Tempest. Get picked off right at the bat. Which there, the counter on, though. He gets Falcon Punch with the Rotten Crafts, but now Deadwood being pulled in. The chain of reactions, and Deadwood will fall right there. Monkey King jumping around with the Heavenly Vault, but realizing quickly that it's not going to be enough. Stay Green is in pursuit now. Parasite chasing. Doesn't have the Codex up, but he has that Legion 2 seconds. The Entangle Proc goes off, and Fitzke will fall. A 3-for-1 exchange right there in favor of Stay Green. So once again, Witch Slayer dies, but he got the Silver Bullet off. He did his job. Right. Hat trick for Keizu when it's all said and done. Exactly. That trade-off is not worth it if they were able to get their combo off and pick one off before like the Tempest there didn't get any relevant spells off in that fight. Witch Slayer got his entire combo off. All of his spells are on cooldown, and that Deadwood jumps it. Sure, it's an easy and free pickoff when it comes time to... Uh, Winning the fight, is that your best play? Yeah. That being said, Witch Slayer spells are very effective. That miniaturization and the Graveyard Sun, you allow them to come off of cooldown and come back again. He can be a devastating force in that team fight. So you can't really uh, down talk picking him off. Tempest not really able to find that ultimate opportunity there, obviously, either. It just, uh, just well, wasn't going to happen. Who do you think for that? Uh, well, you think Witch Slayer? Yeah, and, 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 and the mock before that, the Mock yeah. Bear. Just running him down, forcing him back in the first place, putting him in a bad position to begin with. Yeah. We are going to see Trademark Esports. They they know, you know, again, it's a case of, sure, kudos were using the last fight, but look, the, the Silver Bullet's up in five seconds. I mean, so they're, Stay Green, in a sense, is pretty much good to go as far as the fight is concerned, but it doesn't look like they're going to be fighting here just because of their positioning right now. Parasite's pushing out the bottom lane. They're, they're willing to give up this first tower here, uh, knowing it's just not worth the risk of fighting at this point is Stay Green. So... It's the safe plays, man. Yeah. It's the safe plays. They know they got a solid late game. They know they can take it further. Uh, losing one outer tier tower when they already have the advantage and a wild soul scaling beyond belief. Uh, has the bulwark. Has the plated greaves here. Uh, Going to be damn effective against Monkey King and Deadwood. Yeah. And at this point, Hellflower even near completion on Chessie. Oh, wow. Yeah, he is uh, getting close to that. Sitting on the level one codex, of course. He has a wild hunter picked up here. 
I don't think... Oh, actually, this bottom lane, Monkey King's down here. He does have the Helm of the Black Legion. Those are fairly tanky with the Mystic Vestments, but I don't know. This could... Uh, will he actually go for the opening? Doesn't have the Hell Flower yet, so... Yeah, it would just be too risky. Not worth it, and in the end, he will fall back, not it looks even, like. Yeah, not even just risky, just... It, it, very impossible alone. He would need he would need one other hero probably to get that pick off still if they have a port or something of that nature. Ooh, Nymphora is roaming around. Parasite might have the read on it. Yeah. Uh, has the ability to quickly burst down Fitzky here. Oh uh, he's maybe see what? her. He's going in, I he's going in. There's the Invis. Tempest is nearby, but a quick pick on Nymphora and get the hell on out of there. Very possible. Hell, he might just go for Tempest actually. Does he have any support nearby? He doesn't. He may go back to Fitzgay. Will he risk it? He's now sitting on Tempest, who is kind of by himself now. And oh, he portal keyed at the last second. Parasite <laughs> went for the open. But Tempest happening to portal key away in the meantime at the top lane. We are going to see a pick on a Witch Slayer, actually. Bubbles Kel filled dealt with Falcon Punch. Watson running in. The Untangle going up. Not going to matter, though. And both ports happen there for the Legion side. So, wow. Talk about trademark esports. Having some things happen for them. Yeah, uh, well, they needed that pick off. They needed that exchange. And, well, Spidey Sense is coming out there from yeah. uh, Mr. Tempest. I mean, he, he portal keyed the exact second he was coming out of that invest. I, I, I doubt it was Vision at that yeah, point. I'm it, pretty sure it was just it was a case pure of pure chance. Uh, yeah. sure. cool but it either. paid off. It did, and, you know, sometimes that's, that's, uh, that's what you need. So, Bound Eye just picked up by Fitzgay. You know, we mentioned last game there was no Bound Eye. I don't even think the whole game, especially for State Green as they were pushing yeah. up into the base. But, wasn't necessary, obviously, in the end. They, they came out with a victory, but here we go. Bound out Nymphora. So Trademark Esports going to try to get that map control, especially having a hero like Nymphora. That's where you really want to, to have it. So going to get and some advantage he there. actually purchased it himself there? He did, yes. Interesting. Yeah, so I don't know. I know playing with Fitzky, he was always very adamant against buying the, the Bound Eye <laughs> as support. He said, I won't do it. Yeah. you got to buy it as the initiators. It's not worth it. I'm not Nova. <laughs> he would say, so <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, uh, not, not playing that, you know, bitch support role. Nice. Uh, <laughs> still uh, interesting to see that. And he, he chose to level up Grace of the Nymph again. And yeah. once again, for fights, it's absolutely useless. But given the fact that they're trying to avoid, maybe get the Monkey King his farm in. Yeah. I, you know, he does use up a lot of mana. He is farming that sacks. I think that is the reason why. So yeah, he's just I simply being fine. Monkey King's traveling well, pretty much. <laughs> is what it comes down to with the... Uh, Grace of the Nymph. There's the Bound Eye coming into play. They counter Ward of Ward of Sight. I'm not sure how much time was left on it, but nonetheless, it's taken out there in the middle lane. There's a Bound Eye also on Torture with that said, so both teams having the power of that uh, seeing what they're not supposed to see. Level 12 Witch Slayer. So again, he, he's really, his levels have slowed down a lot here. In fact, his farm has slowed down a lot. He's been just really a case of, I'm just going to start keep roaming around. If anything, let, let my teammates pick up the farm here. I, I got my job done here early on. I'm going to let Wild Soul take a lot of the farm, maybe this Rally, and perhaps even the Parasite as well. So, Dude, people are learning. Yeah. Look at Rally again. Oh, He's got the shrunken head. head. <laughs> you love it. I love the portal key. I love the shrunken head. Yeah. Well, he's got two major pickups. And, you know, I saw Kiddo initially go it on Rally in their matchup against Stay Green. Hmm. Maybe that's what tipped him off. Maybe. Maybe Kiddo changed everything from more cheese. Thank you. I love that guy. <laughs> he is, he is awesome. so good. I mean, he was. Yeah. He's actually a really cool guy. Yeah, yeah. he is. He is. So. In the meantime, Bubbles here in the middle end. He's got his portal key. Obviously, tablet of command in the works here for Noob G. Again, playing that Bubbles. Uh, very odd to see. Not a hero you expect to see him on, but playing it here and playing it well. Kongor being attempted right now by State Green, and it is going to be spotted out here. The elemental replicates are going to be charging in. Nope. Will they get there in time? Actually, in the middle end, Chessy gets picked off here by TDM, and that's going to be the cue for State Green and not want to risk anything further. So they're going to fall back as a team. Watching the Kongor action there, and all of a sudden, uh, Chessy gets was, picked was off. Chessy so. in the Wild Hunter? Breaking? I'm not sure. I, I they have the bound eye. Maybe that's uh, very possible. Maybe that yeah. was sort of what happened there. They yeah, do got plenty yeah. of portal keys too, though. Well, being forced to back off here. Look at you know with that flash farming monkey king, uh, with the map control coming out. Look at the resource change, man. Yeah. They were 4k down. Now yeah. only 1k. They're holding in this. Monkey king, man. He is uh, okay. Yeah, he's got the strong head to finish, yeah. so he was able to right click that. Yeah, I still, yeah, you, you do see him constantly being topped off. And once again, I, I, I know I was giving it criticism. I normally do not like this max out Grace of the Nymph, but you can't deny that it is doing work. He's sitting at nearly 400 gold per minute, and the yeah. only thing Monkey King needs to go absolutely far and beyond out of his mind is that monopoly. Yeah, again, it's just a different style in the end. I mean, you yeah. could argue, why not go Null Stone then on Monkey King, which could definitely be a, an item well, on him, but... Yeah, but then he doesn't have an early shrunken head like this. He that, needs utility, I'm an energizer. And so there's the power drain from Witcher. That's known as one of the strongest abilities for countering any Null Stone. Because of the range of it, because yep. of how simple it is. Exactly. Because of the Good use of it in those team fights, it's just very minimal, honestly. So very might true. as well nullify it with it that. So 
Uh, in the meantime, the trademark esports going through the state green jungle here, trying to roam things out. Obviously, Boo Boo doing the scouting. Uh, Boo Boo with that uh, Soul's Bulwark here on top of the mock, and even now a ring of the teacher picked up. So very likely the Abyssal Skull going to be coming out here for him and, and Wild Soul. But in the end, trademark esports, they're going to fall back as a team, not going to risk any further. Or are they? They're still kind of hanging about right here. Well, it's all pushed up, but nah, it's just not going to be worth it. And yes, they will eventually all fall back together. Look at this again. Parasite, man, he just knows how to spawn these creeps. Another Wild Hunter picked up by Parasite. Seems like he's had plenty of them this game. Uh, and that Hellflower is getting very close. You talked about it. Hellflower, he's got the two Arcanas. He has 850 gold saved up right now. So we're going to see the Hellflower on top of that Codex he has. So plenty, plenty of burst going to be coming out from him. Uh, in the meantime, Deadwood and Nymph 4 are actually trying to take the Ancients, but this could be risky here. Congor being attempted now. You do got the Wild Hunter coming on over. Deadwood, he has a portal key. Will it be quickly enough? Yes, it will. Limp. Spider sense is tingling and eventually does portal key out. Right. Okay, so Zai here sitting on uh, Shrunken Head, Helm, Energizer, 1200 gold. His next path from here, he needs to be able to scale and keep toe-to-toe -to -toe with his Wild Soul as the game goes on. Yeah. We've seen Frostal Skull picked up. Uh, we've seen Nullstone picked up, as you mentioned before, they are against the Witch Slayer. It's a little bit more questionable as to whether he would go that route in a game like this. I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think so. Witch Slayer is just going to go ahead and uh, farm up the middle lane. There's the Hellflower picked up. On, oh, actually, middle lane, there is initiation right there. Going up at the last second. Tempest, the Shrunk, and he thought about getting an ultimate out, but it wasn't to be. Minus is going to fall back right here. Monkey King kind of jumping in and out, but Rally's taking enough to withstand that damage. He still has his own Shrunken Head. Not even using it right there. And in the end, Trademark Esports will fall back. Oh, Wedge Slayer on the silver bullet Ooh. by the tablet. Disjoints it right there. <laughs> Didn't even go off. It's just more so yeah. Fade to Black coming into play. So that was very close. He heard the animation, but Nymphora able to get away. And in the end, again, just solid play by both teams. Yes. Neither one dying. Yeah, uh, you know, one thing to note there, Minots did miss his initial portal key shrunken head combination, but he only needs the five seconds anyway to get that all the off. So. Yeah. Uh, it, it's not up. They do have a counter to it, though. They do have that Parasite, ultimately, that even through Shrunken Head, he can use the Face Hug to cancel Elemental Void. Still, that stops Parasite from jumping in and bursting out their hero down. Or if yeah. Parasite chooses to, that can be Tempest's Q to go in. Uh, absolutely unstoppable there with his, uh, with his combination. Congor is very, very close to death right here. It's going to be happening for State Green. Trademark Esports just not able to get there in time. Token of Life actually going to be picked up by Witch Slayer here. Uh, is, is their go-to. So uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. The initiator, I mean, that's yeah, why. that is their initiator. I like it. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's really not uh, the obvious choice other than that. So um, definitely, definitely making sense there. So they got a token of life now, something that Trademark Esports obviously going to have to deal with here well, going further on. What I talked about before was uh, which layers jump in. He's easier to counter gank than, say, a Pebbles. And they don't really – I mean, they have a rally to help him get out, but they don't have the Master of Arm Shield, a lot of heals, and uh, – you know, the fact is, if they want to go on that Witch Slayer, he is very... If, if he's able to escape from that fight and come back in with his massive amount of Disable yeah. midway through after his initiation to come out with, uh, that could very well be the Tide Turner. So just allowing him that second volley of spells is what you need to win that team fight. And if you get one good team fight coming out from this token, uh, consider that your late game advantage. And then four are going to feed that mana to Bubbles right here. We'll gladly take it and uh, well, going towards the Ancients, but obviously nothing, uh, nothing there for the time being. Already cleared out. In the meantime, Stay Green feeling pretty good about maybe starting to group up now and actually start pushing more aggressively here. Wild Soul, uh, how's Boo Boo coming along? Where the hell is Boo Boo first You're off? Dead. Okay, nice taunting slicks. Oh, where the hell is Boo Boo? God, I hate when this happens. I can't even find Boo Boo. Anywho, uh, is he middle line? Okay, there he is. He's in the middle line. He has the, he has the warp clef to pick up, so that demonic breastplate getting very close here uh, for Wild Soul. And here we go under the tower. Again, just look at Wild Soul leading the way. More specifically, Boo Boo. Absolutely that tower crazy. falls in a matter of seconds. And now we have Trademark Esports again. They're going to need to fight at their base. They definitely know how to, but it is going to be well, difficult nonetheless. They have three shrunken heads and buybacks here. Uh, Very not true. everybody, but Monkey King. He can be an absolute monster with it. Uh, three shrunken heads coming out. The Shield Breaker pick up by Zai. That's Ooh. something we don't see. And now he doesn't have the buyback now as a result of that. But nonetheless, there's going to be no fights. So not the biggest deal in the world. Yeah, going the shield breaker out here. Interesting. Plenty of physical damage. Level one shield breaker. I mean, that is. I, what, what would you have rather seen? 
if, we if talked anything. about, you know, he's just going really for that hard. We talked about, like, you know, the Frost Wolf route, things like that. We were more used to seeing lately on Monkey King in yeah. these games, but I've been torn apart by a Monkey King with Shieldbreaker before, sure. <laughs> uh, he has a lot of physical damage output. That elusive dash yeah. uh, does apply your entire uh, attack damage as well, uh, plus the, the extra 40, so... It's going to make him scale like an absolute monster here. He's going to be hitting ridiculously hard oh, yeah. if he doesn't get locked down. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's definitely the key. Obviously, with that shrunken head, some solid team support, you know, that's definitely possible there. But at the same time, that's the name of the game for State Green. Locked down. Guess, guess what hero is great at locking down in this game? Witch Slayer. Yep. Over and here he on the Hellborn side. And uh, instead of going the shrunken head route, did go for the Void Talisman. Yeah. Uh, a little bit more insight because he is going against that Deadwood <laughs> and the Monkey King. It's just a. Uh, easier advancement path. Yeah, to, I think uh, it's safe to say that's a, just a fine pickup. There. Yes, <laughs> it's, it, is, it is great. So it gives him a little bit of extra oh, monitor. Kind of warning attempt. Shrunk and going to go off by Tempest right there, preventing the graveyard stun. I don't really know if anything else would have followed up, but uh, they do get the counter ward is the good news. <laughs> and you did talk about how the uh, graveyard stun, or excuse me, the shark and head, he only really needs a five seconds in the end. So not the biggest deal that he used to charge right there, but a little bit of a close back and forth. Possibly happening in the end, though. Mm -hmm. Back to more farm we go between these two teams. Again, that shield breaker being leveled up, of course, from Zai. It's now level two, I believe. Right, it is, it is, it is. And we'll, won't be very long till he finishes that on up. Just a uh, pretty low buildup cost in general there. Tempest yeah. going for the, the components to the Restoration Stone. Uh, doesn't have buyback. I mean, I'm sure they're just looking at Turtle and still build up and... Don't really want to pick fights right now. Hellflower is up on Chessie. You know what follows next is that portal key, usually. Yeah. We've seen the shrunken head and other things come out occasionally, but I uh, usually like to see a portal key here to synergize with that Hellflower. Yeah, pickup. just Hellflower in general. Yeah, you, you want PK. to have that jump potential. And sure, he can do that with something like a Wild Soul, but banking on getting a Wild Soul every single initiation is, uh, or a Wild Hunter, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, if well, he can jump in Wild Soul, that would just be broken. With the Witch Slayer and the Miniaturization and with the Parasite Hellflower with Portal Key combination, they would have two instant disables. Yeah. Uh, very hard to react to that no matter how fast you are. Yeah. Even the best of them. Definitely struggling. So Monkey King actually uh, finally selling his bottle right there and actually just picking up a Homecoming Stone. So figured uh, it's done its use and going to go ahead and make sure he has the TPs now, of course, at this point in the game. Always needed to make sure you at least have one TP on you. With that said, I'm looking around here on the Hellborn team and actually Rally or Wild Soul don't actually have one just yet, so. Hope over there. Sake hell. Um, Witch Slayer doesn't have one either, so. <laughs> uh, speaking as, uh, you know, I was thinking for a little bit and speaking as to high, uh, just looking at how Wild Soul and how they're using him as their carry this game. Yeah. Uh, looking at how highly they value artillery too in their games against Lions. We saw them first pick artillery first thing out of the pool when it was left open, so. Yeah. They definitely are valuing that hero and probably considering getting that god tier slot. Yeah. For now though, Trademark Esports, specifically Monkey King, is just going to continue to farm here in the Hellborn jungle a little bit. and needs to be a little bit careful. He only has Tempest right next to him. Nymphor is still in level 10. Doesn't have that level 2 TP just yet. Uh, right as they see that though, the teleport going to be used to the bottom lane. Where is he going actually? Oh, they are going to the top lane. Uh, but both Wild Soul and Torture off to the side. Uh-oh though, Torture Wild Soul, they're actually in a little bit of trouble right here, but there is support coming nearby. And actually, Wild Soul might be the one to, to be the aggressor here with that boo-boo, the Mocker Blades, of right. course. He is going to start charging in. And now the Legion team, Trademark Esports, they're going to start falling back. Oh, this could get ugly, though. Nymphor is going to get caught out. Silver Bullet not going to be used to set. Not even going to need to compel. The big tap is all the man. He's going to be locking out on a Witch Slayer right there. And a Wild Soul finally going to be stopped. The token of life going to be coming out from Witch Slayer. The Wild Soul taking the damage like a boss. He's going to survive through this all. Monkey King just not enough damage. And just like that, a genocide coming out for Stay Green. The concede about to follow. And Stay Green will take this series two games to nothing. And that means they officially wrap up the number one seed. Wow. Five seconds. That's all it took. And nope. the game's over. Just you know like what? That. No buyback on Minot. Zai may have had it up. I'm not exactly sure there in the end. Either way, uh, there was a huge snowball advantage. 7K up for Wild Soul there at that point. Elemental Void down. They went all in. Yeah. We talked about that token coming up on which side. I think they would have won that fight even regardless. But he came back up, laid down the miniaturization, the huge amount of pain train potential, not able to drop the Wild Soul at all with their... Uh, initial burst, so man, just took him right on out. Wow, and again, I just uh, that's it, that's it for the series. Trademark esports falling to stay green, yeah. And again, what does that ultimately mean? Well, stay green, not only still alive here in cycle number eight, of course, which is always good at this point, they're really just playing for more money, but they secure the number one seed in Hauntier. And again, that we're stressing that because now in the Las Vegas grand finals, 
they're going to play the 4 through 11 winner in that very first That's round, true. whoever That's that will true. be. Obviously, we won't know until next week, but that means also Trademark Esports versus Complexity will be a first-round well. matchup there in the Las Vegas <laughs> Finals, and wow, that's going to be good, man. Well, that's a tried-and-true matchup, Breaky. I don't think yeah. anyone's going to complain about that trademark oh, complexity no. face-off, and, well, no. it's complexity's chance for a little bit of a grudge match get back at them for what they did to him at DreamHack. Yeah. Well, well, well. Stay green. Uh, obviously, you know, even even there, going with the Witch Slayer pickup. Let's, yeah. Not a hero we've seen in a, really in a long time. It's definitely been a while, and... Uh, going with the interesting build initially with that power dream, but like you're saying, right. it definitely made sense with that laning presence that he had against that sure. bubbles, mainly because of that even. So, um, and eventually, you know, was able to work out. It, it, again, that was all setting up. TDM was trying to be the aggressive there. They were trying right. to be crafted in a 4 TP, and they had four players up there, but Stay Green responded. They started setting their whole troops over. That's true. TDM went retreat mode. It just weren't able to get away in time. So. Right. Man, that's got to be frustrating loss for them, but Stay Green playing very, very well, of course, and deserving the victory there, Emperor. So. Yeah, well, cheers. That's their, that's their first place, man. they got to yeah. be feeling good right now. I'm sure they're uh, just going absolutely nuts, but they still got this cycle to finish off. I oh, mean, yeah. <laughs> still a lot of money on the line. It's no, by no means time for them to get complacent, but they don't have to reveal any more cards from here on out. Yeah. They did bust out the Witch Slayer in that game. That could have been something else they were sort of holding on to. Yeah. Uh, so they had to show the scout. They had to show the Witch Slayer. Uh, but showing that there are a lot of angles they can approach from is actually kind of a good thing because you get inside your enemy's head. Yeah. Wow. Well, with that said, I mean, that that's it again for our first series here today, live from PAX East here in Boston, Massachusetts. We've been having a lot of fun so far this week, and I'm sure we're going to continue to do so. Big shout-out to Sound Blaster, with that said, here at the booth with us, doing a lot of work, out, a lot of fun to hang out with. And, of course, selling some great products. Uh, I do have an update, by the way. We do have Absolute Legends. It looks like they took out Team Afraid two games to nothing as well. Really? So that's it. That we, we, that, that's where's, it for this round here. Where's Sam right now? Is he, is he just he busy partying and cheering? Freaking that he's out? Yeah, I know. He probably heard about the good news, and he just ran off, you know. Oh, God. Cheering all through the halls here. So. Well, well, that means AL will now be playing stay green in the next round. And, of course, uh, but Damn. our match that we're going to be covering here, and it looks like, what is it, 1230 here? I believe 130 was when the next match was planned for. So we have about an hour break here that, that we got. Uh, I, I believe we plan to keep the stream on. We'll let you know if we do not. Yeah, I believe we plan to keep it on. Maybe we'll even come on here, right. you know, do some interviews, people around the booth and whatnot to have sure. some content to go. But TT Esports versus Complexity, man. The winner's bracket finals. That's going to be a blast. Always entertaining team, especially TT Esports, to watch. And they're, they're, on, they're on a high right now. They really are. But guess what? So is Complexity coming off, of course, that Sound Blaster Heroes League win. They just beat Trademark Esports this last weekend. Obviously, this Han Tour event. Both teams playing for money. Yep. So we'll see how that one turns out. Any, any predictions right now, Emperor, for that? Or? Right, well, I, oh, we, 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 we talked about it. We went pretty right. into it you last want, you, want, you want TT Esports because uh, of uh, several reasons. But what? To win. I do. Don't you? You said that no. yesterday. I said I thought they might take it because they have a lot of momentum. They're on my fa the, the fantasy draft applies to this cycle. Yeah, it's not going through. So no, I actually I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I would actually ra I, I like to see a lot of the fun strategies. Man, TTS runs them, Lions yeah. runs them. Uh, you've seen Afraid pretty strong lately too. But uh, honestly, the the most hyped team I think that I would like to see go just out of how crazy it would be would be Team Excellent, uh, <laughs> just because of how everyone's minds would be blown. Okay. Okay, so. yeah, of course, that tournament, the 4th 11 tournament, and that's, again, taking <laughs> place next week. But anyways, we are gonna, we're going gonna, we're gonna to sign up for now. Sure. Again, the stream will be up, and we'll, we'll definitely, you know, come back with later on, you know, with some more things perhaps. But at the very least, tune in about an hour from now. Uh, that'll be at 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern, and I want to say that is 18.30 Central European time. We'll have TT Esports taking on Complexity Gaming. Winner's bracket finals here for Han Tour, cycle number eight, Diamond Division. For myself, Breaking CDK, Emperor here. Stay tuned, guys. Going to be a lot of fun. Live from Paxis, Boston, Massachusetts. We'll see you later.